Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So welcome back to part two of my confidence series. In this part, I want to talk about fragrances that uh, make you feel confident at work. Fragrances that basically make you feel like you're the boss, like any assignments that you're given at work, you can get them done. So again, I've chosen 10 from my collection that in my opinion, make me feel like a boss. Number one on the list is from Elisab Essence Line. This is Essence Number One Rose. For some reason, when originally I started thinking about this type of video, this was the fragrance that was the first that came to my mind. I just immediately thought about this scent because uh, it is a very powerful rose, but it is not overpowering. Powerful, but not overpowering at the same time. Uh, this fragrance is created by Francis Corcojan. Um, the notes listed are just four types of different rows, although I don't know if I had to guess, I would guess um, there are more notes uh, included in here. It is definitely a bouquet of roses. It is deep, it is dark, um, it is even slightly smoky, it is slightly sweet. It is definitely deep. It's a fragrance. It's a rose fragrance that makes a statement, but I don't think it crosses the line of being too much, of being overpowering, of just, you know, killing you with the scent. No, it is still appropriate for work and it is beautiful. Um, this is a really, really special rose, uh, not the type of rose that I can wear on a daily basis, but definitely gives me more confidence. This is again, Essence number one rose from Elisab. Next on the list is a fragrance from Maison Francis Kirkajan from his uh, brand. This is Grand Soir. This is definitely a fragrance that makes me feel like a boss, like I can do anything, give me any assignment and I will get it done. This is such a gorgeous amber scent. Of course, amber is here. There's also benzoin, labdanum, vanilla, tonka, and all of these notes mixed together to create this smooth, creamy, buttery sweetness. It is not sharp. It is not spicy. It is not cold type of amber. Like amber can be very different. This is my favorite type of amber, which is smooth, sweet, warm. Uh, it is just beautiful. And when you look at the bottle and the juice, I think it corresponds perfectly to how this fragrance smells. Next one on my list is a classic, uh, a fragrance that I think most women either have in their collection or have had at some point. Uh, this is Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. This fragrance has a lot of notes. There are a lot of florals. There are a lot of citruses. There's, of course, patchouli, vetiver, vanilla, musk, tonka, whatever else. And of course, patchouli is very strong here. It's one of the main players. And to me, it's the combination of patchouli with uh, floral and citrusy notes. So it's definitely florals in here, although none of the florals stand out to me. It's like some kind of bouquet of flowers. And none of the citruses really stand out as well. They just kind of make the flowers a little bit fresher and maybe a little bit greener. And then you have that earthy, hippie, patchouli mixing with everything. Of course, this scent is not for everyone. You have to love patchouli, I think, to enjoy this scent. I happen to love patchouli. It's one of my favorite notes. And although I don't wear this scent often, but I do love it whenever I do wear it. And this fragrance definitely makes me feel like a boss. 
Next on the list is a fragrance from Maison Dior. This is Gris Dior, a fragrance I've spoken about a few times lately. Uh, an amazing, an amazing scent. This was included in my masterpiece video. This is rose, patchouli, oak moss, there's sandalwood, bergamot, but really mostly, I think the three main components here are rose, patchouli, and oak moss. That's what this fragrance is about. Although when I say it like this, it doesn't do it justice because this is gorgeous. This is so masterfully put together. It's an amazing, elegant, gorgeous scent, but at the same time, it's powerful. It's a, it's a statement maker, you know? Uh, people will notice you when you wear this. People will pay attention to you when you wear this. So this is an amazing fragrance and uh, I just absolutely love wearing it. Next on the list, I have another sort of classic. It seems like uh, I have a lot of fragrances from sort of what I would consider classic houses, you know, Chanel, Dior, Guerlain, etc. We'll see what else comes up. But this one is from Guerlain and this is Mon Exclusive. And although this is similar to Mon Guerlain, which I have as well, but I specifically in this case chose this one because I think this one has something just a little special, just something extra that Mon Guerlain doesn't have. And that's why, you know, you need to have something extra to feel like a boss. And this fragrance does just that. I mean, again, there are a lot of notes. Um, to me, mostly, um, Mon Exclusive and Mon Guerlain are about vanilla and lavender. You get really sweet lavender. But what makes this fragrance special and what makes it different is that there is a note of butter. I think there's actually a note of butter, butter in here. And it is evident because this fragrance is creamy. It is smooth. And that's what really makes it stand apart from uh, Mon Guerlain. And again, that's why I included it. This I think is relatively mass appealing scent. I mean, not everyone is going to like it, but I think majority of people will like it. And again, they will notice you wearing this scent. Next on the list is a fragrance from Frasai, and this is Blondine. This is another slightly unusual fragrance in, in my opinion. This fragrance has sort of two sides to it. One side, which is all about lily. Is it tiger lily? Yeah, tiger lily is included in here. And the other side of this fragrance is very gourmand because there are the notes of caramel, tonka, cacao, butter. And all of these notes are mixed together to create sweet, creamy, buttery uh, texture to this fragrance and that this texture mixes together with uh, tiger lily. And, and usually, you know, I'm not a huge fan of tiger lily or any lily for that matter. You know, to me, they kind of smell the same, but it's the mix of these two elements which makes me like this scent so much and makes me uh, think that this scent is quite special and this scent is quite a statement maker. I think I think people will notice this. I think people will ask you questions. What are you wearing? They will be curious to know uh, what smells like this, whether they like it or not, but I think they will ask about it. So this is a fragrance that definitely makes me feel confident, makes me feel um, capable of achieving anything. Again, this is Blondine from Frasai. Next on the list is a longtime favorite from the house of Xerjov. This is Bouquet Ideal. This fragrance is about vanilla and spices overall. Uh, there are a lot of spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, um, there's also vanilla in here, there is tobacco blossom, there's sandalwood, cedar, labdanum, whatever else. Um, by the way, if you're seeing some light changes in the video, you know our weather today when I'm filming is all over the place. It is pouring one minute, it is dark the next, then the sun comes out. It just keeps 
changing so my apologies for the changing light all the time but you know i can't control the weather so there's nothing i can do about that hopefully it's not too annoying anyways going back to the scent like i said this is vanilla that is very very spicy and it is definitely smoky um tobacco smoke or tobacco blossom is definitely here but it's a really nice uh clean kind of tobacco not too much in your face um, i can easily wear the scent even in the summer as well i know for some it might seem like too much uh given the notes but i don't think anything is too much in this fragrance the sweetness is just right the tobacco is just right the spiciness is just right it's not nothing is overboard it's it all blends together and all done in moderation and again it's a fragrance that makes me feel very very confident next i have a bit of a let's call it dark horse in this race it is definitely not for everyone it is definitely not for every occasion but for those that love the scent and for those that can pull it off I don't think there is any other fragrance that will make you feel more like a boss, more confident, more powerful, more unstoppable than this fragrance. I am talking about, let me turn it the right way, Mask Ravageur from Frederick Mull. I mean, what a powerhouse. This is a fragrance that has to be used in moderation, absolutely has to be, or it becomes bad. It becomes really, really bad. I know from experience. So don't overspray. Don't spray too much. Now, this scent uh, has a lavender, tangerine, bergamot, cinnamon, cloves, vanilla, amber, musk, tonka, sandalwood, woody notes. I don't think the notes quite paint the picture of this scent. This definitely has kind of sweet apple pie vibe but with an animalic touch it definitely has a bit of an animalic touch which i typically don't like but in this fragrance it works uh, as long as it's used in moderation when you overspray it becomes terrible let me say it again it becomes terrible it has to be used in moderation but when it is beautiful warm deep such a statement maker like you walk into the room i feel like everybody's gonna, gonna turn heads and they're gonna know it's you they're gonna know it's the boss walking into the room because i don't think anyone else will uh, think it's appropriate to uh, spray themselves with this type of scent you know only the boss would be able to use the scent because it is so strong it is so powerful it even has a touch of a small animalic touch to it as well but overall warm sweet apple pie with a twist let's call it that so mask ravageur from frederick mall next i have a, a strong deep um fruity scent on the list that again makes me feel capable of achieving anything this is soleil or zenith from Prada. This scent is mostly about spices and about peach. In addition to that, there's also ylang ylang, sandalwood, uh, there is vanilla. And so you do get that really spicy, um, fuzzy kind of peach. But there is there isn't too much peach in here. It's just the right amount of peachness and it mixes so nicely with the spices and with vanilla and i think ylang ylang plays a, a nice role in here as well i think it's ylang ylang mostly that kind of balances out the peach because for me often peach can be overwhelming and even a little unpleasant but it is so nicely done in this fragrance beautiful strong this is a thick um scent this is deep uh, this is not your light airy fruity scent no this is deep and thick fruity scent so uh, that's why i put it on this list definitely makes me feel confident and we're down to the last fragrance in my lineup and it is mula mula rouge extreme from byron perfumes 
This is another fruity scent that is not your ordinary fruity scent, and that's why I included it here. Of course, there are a lot of fruits in here. There is cherry, strawberry, raspberry, there is caramel, of course, there is vanilla, there is patchouli, there is oud. And what I get out of this is uh, the mix of these uh, berries, not so much cherry, I have to say, I don't really get cherry, it's mostly uh, strawberry and raspberry mixed together, drizzled with caramel, and all of that is somehow swimming in oud. I don't know. But that's really what I'm getting. And it's, of course, the oud that gives this fragrance backbone, gives it strength, makes it stand out from other fruity scents, because there are a lot of fruity scents. A lot of them I love, but this one makes a statement. This one is strong. It is sweet. It is smoky. It is woody. It, it is gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And definitely makes me feel like a boss. This is definitely a confidence booster. This is definitely a powerhouse. Mula Mula Rouge Extreme from Byron Perfumes. And this is the last scent in my selection. So these are the 10 fragrances that make me feel like a boss. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.